take the time to really reach out to those you love. Take the time to spend time with family. Take the time to, to enjoy life. Hello everybody and welcome back to Ages How You Wear It vlog style. Well, I'm not I'm gonna be very honest. First of all, um it's so hard for me to do a video this weekend. It all the things that's going on in the world, this seems so unimportant and I'm not saying that it, you know, it is important to me, but it just seems so, I don't care. It's so many things going on that it doesn't matter. It, you know, spending time with loved ones and, and, and reaching out to old friends and just letting people know that you care. Um, that is seen, that's what's so important right now. But I didn't want to just not do anything Think about the things that's happening right now kids dying people of color still getting hunted down and killed in stores it it's so mind-boggling that you think who cares what outfit i'm wearing today who cares what i'm doing out of my little 15 minutes today and i was thinking i just don't want to do it but then I said, you know what? No matter what, life still goes on. No matter what, you have to live. No matter what, take the time to really reach out to those you love. Take the time to spend time with family. Take the time to, to enjoy life. And that is what I feel like I have to do. I know that... I don't want it to become normal, but think about it. You think about what happened when you read it on the news and you think about it and you said for that moment, you said for a couple of days and then you go back to normal. And that's because it's becoming a part of life and that is what's wrong. When you feel like, okay, it's happened again and you just, Feel it in that moment and then you go on and you like, okay, you know, it's, it, I'm just going to try and live. Even when you do that, it seems like it is still becoming something so normal. It should be tragic. It should be, oh my God, what? No, that didn't happen. Instead of not again. So, I don't know. I just was like, I just want to tell everybody out there, if you don't have anyone, if you don't have any friends that you can talk to, and, and if you don't have anyone that you can reach out to when things are in turmoil on the inside with you, please find someone, a professional, a group, a stranger. Talk to someone instead of keeping it all bottled up inside talk to someone i'm here to tell you that you're important i'm here to tell you that respect others love life itself and that's my message for today i mean um so on a lighter note i said you know what i used to love going to bingo and I said, you know what? Get up and find a bingo. I know you in areas you don't really know. And I know, you know, you don't plan on living in Florida forever. But go out and do something this weekend. I don't want to be sad all day, every day. I want to start finding things to do. And just knowing that it's things out there. And you don't have to be in your little box. There's things out there. So I'm going to bingo today. And I don't know how much of it I can film. But I'm going to show you uh, me going to bingo. I hope it's still open. 
Um, I found one in my area, so I'm going with a friend. And that's why you see a different uh, atmosphere. It's not my house. But I thought, you know what? While I'm filming and taking pictures and agree to go to bingo, I thought I'd open two packages that I've gotten. And just to give you that mess, that message that you are so very important. You are. And how you feel is important. So tell someone how you feel, please. Um, so I'm giving the, you know, I'm on the app, right? Trying to date and, and even that didn't seem important anymore. Uh, but I finally start communicating with somebody like actually gave them my cell phone number and we'll see how that works. So far they have, they are very unimpressive and I'm not hard. I'm just, <laughs> I just know what I want. You know, you get at a certain age where you like, I just don't, I don't got time for games. I know what I want. Okay, so I got this from, you know, I buy a lot from resellers live online. I talk about it all the time. Well, um, this, and I put her Instagram here or here. Uh, she, I love her lives. She be having the gems. But come with the money and come correct. But I won um, a contest. And I got $25 off of her site. And I got these earrings. I wanted some new pink earrings. Look at these. They're so odd and different. Color block. And I got orange and pink on. Orange, pink um black and white i'll show you a picture and i just wanted to do something different i just i don't know guys i just feel like trying things and doing things i just feel so full of life you know and i just want to do things so here's the earrings what y'all think cute right oh my gosh i'm so glad i got them i love anything that's odd and different okay so what else i got child sometimes i be forgetting but you know what i say i'm gonna stop doing a bunch of shopping which is probably uh an addiction at this point and it's probably because i ain't got nothing else to do but if i find stuff to do then i won't you know i won't be shopping as much so i'm going to um oh yeah this is a jumpsuit i bought for fall and winter so you know the best time to buy stuff is not during the season that you're in oh i got this from a reseller um it's a jean Oh, I just hate the way stuff smell. Woo! I just don't like other people's smells. Oh, I don't know what that smell is. I don't know if it's a disinfect or something she washed in it. It's not a like a um, you know how sometimes you go to thrift stores or or how you know people houses that down, you know they ain't never light a candle in their work and they you know they ain't never lit a candle in their life like don't you know it smells you can put in your house um so look at this it is a jean jumpsuit and it's got the look at the gold buttons on it the gold buttons alone look at them gold buttons and it is a jumpsuit and child this thing is so long <laughs> I'm so short. Look, I should have got the length of them. But look at the bottom. They supposed to cuff at the bottom. Wow. So I'm going to, uh, when I try it on, I know I'm not going to wear it until probably fall. No, it's very thin. You know what? I expected it to be a little thicker. And it got pockets. 
Now, I don't know if I'm going to have to get it taken in because I'm so short. Because this looks long. I'm going to have to have on the highest of highest heels. But it's nice, though. Oh, I got to throw that down. Ugh, I don't like the smell of that at all. So I'm going to have to put a lot of stuff on that. <laughs> Uh, but I like it. It's nice. I'm, I don't regret buying it. It's just that people smell. Um, but other than that, um, so we'll see how what happens with the little um, with the little communicating back and forth. But I did want to say that um, when I go to bingo, I'm going to change and you'll see me, of course, in a different outfit. But I just can't wait. What if I win, guys? Oh, my goodness. I still had my markers, my little... I just cannot wait. I've never been so excited to do something. Hello, everybody. And as you can see from that intro clip, that was a week ago. <laughs> I just... Let me bring you down some. Cause you look like you really up. Hold on. Hey guys. Oh, I've been just in my feelings guys. So you did not see a video last week and I did film because I filmed a uh, intro and I was telling you how I felt about the things that's been going on. And you know, I just wasn't in the mood. It's like, like I was seeing in the video, is this even important? But it is something that keeps me happy and keeps me focused. And it's, it's like a release. So, you know, and even though I've been working really hard and I've just been so busy, but I said, no, this weekend, you've had your time. You've been in your feelings. It's over. I'm a true Aquarius. I, I'm going to move on now. So I wanted to come up here and show you some of the things. Now, I did go to bingo. But guys, it sucked so bad. First of all, I've been out of the loop so long. I don't even know what I was doing. And then, you know, I had to, I got there five minutes late. So I had to catch up with the games. But I'm going again today. And... I will try to see if I can film some. You know, I see a lot of people still film themselves on TikTok at Bingo, but um, it'd be so crowded at the ones I go to that I don't see how they have that extra space. Maybe they had a big one, but I'm going to go more to more than just one place. Uh, but this place is what I know, so I'm going to go there again, and I'm going to try to get as much footage as I can. So... You know, I always come up here with just 15 minutes of my life. And so welcome to Ages How You Wear It vlog style second part. Because <laughs> I already did the intro. So let me tell you some of the new things I done got in, guys. I wanted to just give you some food updates. Because I haven't been up here and told you some of the good food I've tried. So um, first of all, I, and all of this is from Target. I got this boom boom shrimp and what i do is i don't put it in the air fryer i actually um ball it because i want it to be soft i don't want anything crunchy so i i balled it and i put it in with some of my uh vegetables that i love you know i put it in with my red peppers and um with my pasta the spinach pasta that i love that i've showed you many times and this boom boom shrimp let me just take that picture this is delicious and it comes with its own sauce and of course you can cook it however you want but that's how i cooked it and it was so good so i can imagine how it is fried so go check it out i'm gonna tell you target has the best food for if you want a vegan option to what you're eating target Target to me is better than Whole Foods. Sorry, it is. Um, so then I got this truffle parmesan macaroni and cheese, and that is the name of the place. It's called Evil Evo. Mm. But anyway, delicious. So I will be getting this again because this is my second one. 
Ugh, it is so good. And the last thing is by um good what is that? Good and gather plant-based buffalo style cauliflower wings. So you know I like my buffalo style cauliflower. And um this one, let me show you how it looks. That is so cute. Don't forget it's frozen. It looks like a little drumette. So they do the visual along with the taste. It's so good, guys. Put it in your air fryer. You are good to go. Trust me. So that is the new food that um, I wanted to show you. I should have showed me cooking it. So I will on the next time I get something that I've cooked so you could see it. And the next thing is I got a few items in. So somebody if you read if you like reading romance novels and i'm talking to good romance novels this book i'm greeted i've heard about this series on tiktok so i am i bought the book the first one and it's called chasing love by cat t mason and it's the dark love series book so ain't no telling what's in here okay it's the dark now i ain't got no man so i gotta read about it okay I get in the mood. Maybe I will let somebody in if I be like, oh, this is getting hot. It's getting hot in here. I'm going to have to get me somebody, right? So who's going to start it with me? So I got it right off of Amazon. So here it is. In case you want to take a picture. This, I'm starting it. I'm, so I'm going to give you updates on this. This is going, I'm starting to read. I'm going to start reading it tomorrow this book and i'm an avid reader and i haven't read in so long oh my goodness i can't remember the last time i picked up a book and i told you i am ready to start doing things i am getting back in the world getting back to what i'm used to no more of this um mentality that you know that the pandemic put us in where we just like oh we stay in the house i'm gonna i don't do that no the next thing you know you see me uh no at the funeral no no i'm ready to get out there i'm ready to enjoy life i don't care if i'm working hard take my days that's what they for and i am going to start doing things so i'm getting back to my reading reading i used to love it and i'm getting back into that just like my bingo Okay, so I got some, I don't know if you're into kitten heels, guys, like me. So I have some new kitten heels. The first one is these zebra print kitten heels with this, you know, the little kitten heel right here. They go around your ankle, ankle and your toes go between here and it does not hurt. I thought it would, but it doesn't. And it's the square right here from Amazon. See, y'all just don't know. These shoes is everything. Here's the outfit that I wore. Follow me on Instagram so you can look at my reels. I can't do them as fancy and there's a whole bunch of stuff as everybody else. But I got, I do my own little fashion thing, you know. I keep it me. And if you keep it you, then it will be just natural, right? I'm not trying to be like nobody else. I'm not out here to try to get a uh, a million people to like me i just want to be me and show you that over 50 you can still dress very very stylish and you can do it on a budget you do not have to go all out for it so these right here and the second ones i got i got from the thrift store and it's these and i just soon as i saw them the black and white um the black and white stripes in the front and then the little kitten heel but they still sexy and this shoe is by i never heard of this brand timothy hitsman so and here's the outfit i wore with these kitten heels so i haven't even put that on instagram yet i don't think may have i either put it on tiktok or instagram so don't forget to follow me on both so these i styled them with some shorts here you see it and they are just so cute.
so those are the new end items I've had so far and I got quite a few things coming so I'm back guys you're gonna see me more often you know I come up here just for my little 15 minutes of fame where y'all heard that from okay speaking of that I was at work when the verdict came in for the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial and I was so ecstatic okay so a few things we both know okay let me tell you something if you've ever been in a relationship where you've cussed each other out several times that you said some things that you knew you shouldn't have said that but you still let it come out your mouth that's the type of relationship they had but she was the one who primarily instigated it you could tell that by all the recordings it was no, she was getting beat up every day. That was wrong. She was wrong for that. I'm going to tell you something. I can't see a time that no way you went to a doctor. Now, us, you know, us poor people, we, we got to go to the regular hospital, right? We got to go to the emergency room. They have doctors that come to them. So you mean to tell me there's not one doctor who could collaborate that you got beat on? That's the first thing I'm going to bring up. I mean right so there's no doctor no footage no nothing even the people that say that you told them johnny did this none of them has ever seen it if you ever ever been in an abusive relationship whether you was viewing it as a child or you was a part of it as a grown-up let me tell you something an abuser especially someone who's uh, a narcissist and an abuser and they don't care if you homeless and living with me like those her friends was homeless and living off of Johnny and living he was letting them stay do you think I care what you see no I wouldn't so you've never seen it ever not a push not a slap not a never no nope, we ain't never seen it then you got men coming to my penthouse Franco you wrong for that you wrong for that Franco then you got people coming to my penthouse Girl, gone, bye, boo. UK might have failed for that stuff because they like, oh my God, somebody hit a woman. Find out. Because I know there's women out here that abuse men. I know there's women out here that take a good man and turn him bad because they think you're supposed to push them around, cuss them out. It is women like that. So I don't know why the world's so shocked. She's a narcissist. And you shocked? Come on now. Did they do drugs? Yeah. Johnny is a hard rock man. He do drugs. He drink. And just the other day, I had a mega pint myself. So there you go. But anyway, guys. So I was so excited about that. So that verdict came in. And I was happy. And yes, I was not on the side of the woman. Because I am on your side till you do something. Just like a friend. Don't ask me. Because I'm not the type of friend that's going to sugarcoat it or make it sweet or tell you, 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 that's okay. You can do that. Don't ask me because I'm going to tell you wrong. So, okay, guys. Oh, I miss you guys so much. And I hope you miss me. So, I will see you, my beautiful butterflies, next week. Bye, guys. Oh, don't forget. I'm going to bingo, so I'm going to give you some footage, and then I'll tell you if I want. Oh, I didn't win the last time.